We're celebrating 25 years this year. That's quite an achievement, it's quite a milestone. But you know something about reaching a milestone like that. You turned 20 at Zenex last year. And over that time, Jet and Zenex have um, had our paths cross in different forms. Can you describe our relationship over this, these ages? We got a lot of strategic advice from JET around what we should focus on using existing research to inform um, our strategy going forward. Looking at JET back then and looking at JET now, what stands out for you as a funder in terms of JET's work? JET is seen as a trusted partner for government and, and, and that um, we've been um, witness to as well. I think the um, JET has served as um, a provider of research and m and &E services and even if JET puts out a, a report it's seen as a trusted a piece of work um, from government. Um, on the m and &E, I really think over the years um, uh, JET stands out as being one of the key proponents of m and &E, and us being evidence-based about the, the work we've, we, we've done. I, I mean, I've seen JET grow more and more into providing implementation support, and that's changed um, over the years, where perhaps at the beginning um, it was much more research m and &E, um, and now it, it's grown into providing all three services in, in a fully-fledged way from research, M&E um, and, &E and, in, and implementation. There's a lot of information about what the problems are and I think many people understand that. So what JET's trying to focus now on is understanding what the solutions are. So what is making us relevant and, and looking at the innovative space. Um, what is your feeling regarding that position? I mean, what we've witnessed as, as, as Xenex over the years of us working in education is the declining capacity in NGOs that provide a critical service in partnership to um, the department in delivering um, education projects. And I think there, um, JET is starting to play a role in terms of um, trying to look at how we can cooperate, collaborate and work together as NGOs. But I think we should also think about what do we need to do at an institutional level to build the capacity of the education, education NGO sector. What word, what phrase pops in your head? Um, that describes JET and the work that we're doing? Um, the phrase that comes to mind is trusted partner in education. Mm -hmm.